Hello, I'm talking to you from my studio on the 24th of February here in Vancouver. Um, I'm very pleased that the Hasselblad Foundation has acquired my set of four pictures of my friend Klaus Janka. That picture was made in 2010. Klaus is an old, old friend of my wife, Jeanette, and me. We watched him uh, assemble his collection of vintage costume material for quite a while. He specializes in um, material from Germany and Austria up to the beginning of the Nazi period. So it's a collection that has a very specific focus and a very serious historical significance in a way over and above the interest that fashion or costume people might take in it. Um, I originally wanted to make one picture of Klaus in his uh, home where he keeps his collection, but he it showed a lot of um, garments to me in the process of us deciding what we we're going to do. And when he showed me the white shirt that makes takes up one of the images. Um, it changed the way I looked at the project. The white shirt, which was photographed with an 8x10 camera, is very rare because men's white shirts are one of the few things, one of the things that most is most unlikely to survive over time because they're sort of disposable and they're not preserved. But this one was preserved almost uh, perfectly. So that made me want to somehow focus on it. Klaus then showed me that the label in the shirt, which is from the N Israel department store, uh, a company that also manufactured its own clothing lines, was also intact. And he told me that that was even more unusual to find not only the shirt, but the label. So it seemed to me that we had to account for that. Then he showed me the catalog from the, the uh, in Israel store from the winter of 1932, which is photographed as you can see, uh, can see on the other two, on two of the four panels. And that catalog includes a shirt that Klaus had. That meant that the garment, the item was even more unusual because con con the congruence of shirt, label, and documentation was quite rare. That suggested that the picture could not be, the subject could not be captured in a single picture. And so I had to devise or revise my idea to make it into four pictures. Each of one discloses some aspect of the relation that he has to his collection and the relation his collection has to its own documentation. So it became a, a project about history, about the way history is recorded and preserved, about documentation itself. And so in that sense, it's a, on kind of, on, on a few levels, it's a documentary photograph of a type that I'd like to make but haven't had a chance to make very often. So I consider it very singular in what I've done and something I like very much and I'm very happy that you have it because I think it does have a lot to do with what we think of as photography, documentation, and the relationship between the photographer and all those things. He, um, the ensemble has four parts. The shirt photographed in um, much higher detail than the other three. Portrait of Klaus, um, sitting in his armchair, perusing the document that is photographed in the other two pictures. And you can see how domestic Klaus's situation is. He's lived surrounded by his collection. And of course he keeps a lot of his documents in an old German cookie tin or candy tin, quite appropriate. Two photographs of the catalog 
um, were necessary because I needed to show the cover, which gives the date of the publication, and the page, which shows the shirt type that Klaus owns in his collection, which, which is photographed separately. So that meant there had to be the four pictures. The shirt itself, the owner and his possessions, and then the two stages in identifying the object. The Winder collection of 1932-33 on the cover features a photograph of Lenny Riefenstahl, who was at that time a young actress and model and was still posing for winter sports um, clothing line. The uh, open page, of course, shows the item itself. The, um, the catalog is resting on a suitcase, which includes other garments, and the suitcase has a label. And on the label you can read about the passage of Mr. Rosenthal, who came in 1939 from Germany via Rotterdam to Vancouver. So the, the, um, the suitcase itself, although it doesn't relate directly to the shirt, shows the entire ambiance of Klaus's collection.